My first tip, one of the first things I actually teach in class is how to do a proper ballet hand. And that is when you put the thumb near the first line of your middle finger, like so. And then you soften the fingers so that the hand is not like very stiff. Make sure there's some space in between your fingers. And uh, if you want to make a habit of it, try doing your bar by holding on to something first using your thumb and your middle finger. And this one is aptly entitled Pencil for Posture because I'm going to use this pencil to teach proper posture for the student practicing at home during these times. Now let's begin by placing our fingertips at the back of our neck. Feel your elbows lifted and your chest opening out wide in front of you. Now let's imagine that this pencil is stuck in between your shoulder blades right there and it shouldn't fall. Now let's open our arms to second position. Don't make that pencil fall. Close our arms to first position. Don't let that pencil fall. If you do this, the pencil falls. Don't forget your ballet hand. Pencil for posture. I had a bar brought into the house because sometimes we really take for granted how we hold the bar. And it is actually really important for placing that we hold the bar properly. So what you need to remember is that all four knuckles of the hand should face up into the ceiling. Like so. In this way, we prevent holding the bar like this and losing the posture that we really like. So again, all four knuckles need to face the ceiling. It's not just important how you hold the bar. It's also very important how far away you are from the bar. So the proper way to do that is if you're told to face the bar, do a proper first position and then knuckles up. One hand on the bar, do a proper second position and then knuckles up. I'd like to teach you about the opening and closing of the wrists with the arms. Now, for example, we open our arms to second position. When we close them, you always have to open out first with the wrist and then close. Open out first with the wrist and then close. From up, we go open, starting with the wrist, open and then close. We try to avoid doing this, yeah, doing that. Always use that wrist, all right? How to properly turn your head from side to side. Now what's important to remember is that we have to show the longest possible neckline to our audience at all times. So when we turn our head from side to side, we try to keep our chin on the same level as much as possible. Once we start to do this or this, we shorten that neckline and we don't want that. I also need to tell you when to do this. Now, usually the rule is whenever you're doing anything to the front or to the back, you need to turn your head a quarter turn to the side that you're moving. Now, when you're doing anything to the side, the head stays straight. This is what I mean. Tongue to front or back, head is a quarter turn. Anything to the side, tongue to side, head stays front. Today, I'm going to give the third installment on my ballet tip in turning the head from side to side. One of the most common mistakes I see young dancers do is not turn the head when they're bending forward and back. Now, again, the rule is you have to look towards the hand, turning your head as you go forward, bring the head straight up, 
and then again turn the head to the side as you do a back bend. Doing a back bend like this, you will not be able to breathe. My ballet tip today is about the feet this time. A common mistake among young dancers, especially when you're working at home and your teacher is not there to remind you to do so, is that they end up sickling their feet because they try to point as hard as you can. And so when you're pointing, the mantra in your head needs to be heels forward, toes back. Heels forward, toes back. If that's always in your head, then you will avoid this, which is the sickling of the foot. Remember, heels forward, toes back. This time, I'm bringing back the pencil from my second tip that was called pencil for posture. This time, this pencil goes in between your knees every time you close in fifth position or third position so that you really squeeze that pencil in between your knees and feel that position and feel your knees and legs as straight and as strong as possible like so squeeze that pencil and don't let it fall see you next week